It's good practice if you are asked the same question repeatedly to document the answer somewhere so that other users can reference it. And in this case, I've been asked multiple times by email and in video comments on why a user is unable to install F-Droid in another user profile. So I figured instead of continuing to answer these questions individually, I would make a video explaining what and why this is happening. So to demonstrate what's happening, a user on their Android device goes to fdroid.org. On the home page, they want to download F-Droid, so they click the button, download. Once the download finishes, install the APK, open the app, ignore the warning, allow, give it a minute to update repositories. And now if you go to updates because of the notification, the first thing the app wants you to do is update F-Droid to the newest version, update. The user now has the latest version of F-Droid installed. They go through, download whatever apps they want, install them. And then shortly after this, the user finds out about user profiles and they want to start separating their apps to different user profiles to separate user data. So they created a new user. We're on that new user profile. And again, the first thing they want to do is install F-Droid so they can download apps. They go to fdroid.org again. Same process as before. Click the download button, download. Once the download finishes, open, install again, and they are presented with this error. This is the error I get asked about and that I see different posts about online. So now that we see what is happening, let's talk about why this is happening. So this diagram is overly simplified, but I think it'll help paint the picture of what's going on. So at the bottom here, we have the system, and part of the system is the Android package manager, which we can see here. And above the system level is the user profiles, as we saw in the example, we had our initial owner user profile that we were on, and then we switched to our user profile, which was that second user profile where the F-Droid install failed. A common misconception is that when you install an app on a user profile, it's installed in that user profile. And then when you switch to the other user profile, it's installed there as well, but that is not correct. So what happens when you install an app on Android is that, that is handled by the Android package manager. That app is installed, and then it is linked, for lack of a better term, to the profile that you are presently in. So in this example, we installed F-Droid from our owner profile. We downloaded it and installed it. That was version one. And as we saw in the example, once we installed F-Droid, we were immediately prompted to update the app. So we went from version one to version two. These are not the actual version numbers. I'm just doing this for the sake of simplicity. So at this point, we now had version two of F-Droid installed and being managed by the Android package manager. We went to our second user profile. We downloaded and installed F-Droid or tried to install it. But the issue that was occurring was that when we downloaded F-Droid from the website, the version we downloaded was actually version one. And since Android packages are managed by the system, there's a protection in place that prevents an app from actually being downgraded. So in this case, we were trying to install version one of F-Droid, but the package manager saw that we had version two installed. Therefore, it blocked the install on that second user profile, and we were unable to install F-Droid on it. So just to reiterate, because it was a misconception that I had as well, user profiles are meant to separate user data. The actual installation of apps is handled at the system level by the Android package manager. And if you try to install an app on a separate user profile that is an older version than the one currently being tracked by the Android package manager, the install will fail. You may have noticed if you currently use user profiles that when you update an app in one user profile, it's updated in the other user profile as well. And again, the reason for that is that package installation is handled at the system level, not at the user profile level. So when the app is updated in one profile, the actual package is upgraded across the system and therefore all user profiles are using that same updated version. So now that we saw in the example why this is occurring, the reason this continually happens with F-Droid is that they host an outdated version of their app on their website. So anytime a new user goes there, they're downloading an older version of the app, which is why it instantly prompts you for an update. So if we download the version from the homepage, I'm going to save this in a folder titled F-Droid. And then if we go and search for F-Droid, on the right side here. We can scroll down to the 
latest version labeled suggested. Download. Again, placing that in the F-Droid folder. And now for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to use this online APK analyzer. Here we have our F-Droid folder, the f-droid.apk, that was the one downloaded from the homepage, and the org.fdroid, that was the most recent suggested version that we downloaded. And if we look at these, we can see the one on the homepage is version 1.15.4, and the version from the actual page in the search was 1.15.6. We can look on here, the 1.15.4 that was published on December 2nd, 2022, and the most recent suggested version, January 14th, 2023. So that's why if you go to a separate user profile and you try to download F-Droid from the main homepage, you receive an older version that's out of date, and therefore the install fails because the Android downgrade protection kicks in and blocks the install. So now that we know what is happening and why it's happening, there's a couple things you can do to get around this issue. The first is that instead of going to the F-Droid homepage, you can scroll down, search for F-Droid, select F-Droid, and download the latest version with the tag suggested. Now when we open this one and then select install, and it is not blocked by Android because we are not trying to install an older version of the app. The first way is probably the easiest for most people. The second way, if you are running Graphene OS, I don't know if other Android OSs support this, I've never tested them, but with Graphene OS, you can go into Settings, System, Multiple Users. We can select the second user profile, which in my case is User Profile 1, and we can use the option down here, Install Available Apps, select that, and then change the toggle next to F-Droid, and now F-Droid will be accessible from our second user profile. And again, the reason that install available apps feature works is that APK installation is handled by the package manager at the system level. So when you are in the owner profile, you're able to give additional profiles access to the installed apps. And this last option is for the F-Droid team. You could update the version on your homepage to the latest stable version. This is not good security practice to intentionally host an outdated version of your app in the most popular place to download it. I've read through the threads on the F-Droid forums and other forums asking the same question over and over again. This one change of hosting the most recent version on your homepage would save everyone time and make for a better overall user experience. It's tough enough for individuals that are new to the security and privacy space. There's no reason to add to the issues they might encounter with something that's easily resolved. So if you enjoyed this video, I think you'll like the top one listed here, and the engineers at Google think you will like the bottom one.